Okay, so questions on how I plugged the A, the B, and the C in? Questions on any of these, these four numbers? This 40, always 4 times A times C. This 49 was B squared, so that was 7 squared. Okay, seems like everybody's good. All right, so now the next step, okay, we just simplify underneath the square root, start subtracting. All right, so we have negative 7 still, plus or minus still. The square root, though, now that's going to change to a 9. 49 minus 40, okay, and then divided by 4. Okay, so now look at the square root. Can we simplify the square root of 9 anymore? Is that going to be a decimal or is it going to be a whole number? Okay, so if we write the next step now, the negative 7 and the 4 are still going to stay, but this is going to change the square root of 9 now is going to change to an actual 3. And then over 4. All right, so now that we have this, okay, what this is actually saying, remember, the plus or minus means that there's, tax, there's actually two things going on here. Okay, we're doing, the first thing is we're doing negative 7 plus 3 and then dividing it by 4. The second thing, okay, is that we're doing negative 7 minus 3 and then we're dividing that by 4. And that's those are and once we do that, okay, then we're done. We're gonna actually have our numbers, our answers. It's gonna be actually nice this time. They're gonna be nice numbers. So let's look at this first one up here. Okay, if you do negative seven and then you add three to it, that's gonna give you negative four. And then if you divide negative four by four, you're gonna end up with negative one. Okay, so negative 1 is our first solution, our first answer. All right, and then on the bottom one, we got negative 7 minus 3. Okay, that's negative 10. And then we got negative 10 divided by 4. Okay, and so for fractions, okay, we just want to reduce them. And if you, want, if you wanted to put the decimal, if you wanted to do negative 10 divided by 4, you would get negative 2.5. And that would be fine also. Because remember, we, didn't have to, we don't have to round it. That's exact. So exact decimals are okay. Like if you want to put you know, 0.5 instead of 1 half, or if you want to put, you know, 2.5 instead of 5 over 2, that's totally fine. As long as you don't have to round. 